Welcome back, everybody. Hope y'all doing well. Hope y'all doing well. All right, we're going to go back and see what we can get after doing the sync with Mayumi. And hopefully she's good, I would hope. So maybe is Iris? I would also hope. I'm so sorry for worrying you. What do you mean? Your mother retracted her confession. <sighs> I'm so glad. Yes, yes. But mom... Why did you think I did it? About that. I explained to Oda. On Sunday night, Mayumi was following the van driven by Oda in a taxi. But when the van was hijacked in the Famisto parking lot, Mayumi was at another convenience store nearby buying some chocolate. Because of that, she didn't see what happened. That's why Mayumi thought Oda was still in the van when it drove away. So? He kept following it. The van drove all over Tokyo and eventually wound up in the warehouse just right near the docks. Mayumi got out of the taxi and followed the van on foot. The van was later found at the Okiora Fishery uh, cold storage warehouse. Mayumi walked into the warehouse and discovered the grizzly scene. A uh, polar bear plucking out Iris's left eye? I was so terribly frightened. I panicked and ran. I'm sure that's when I dropped the chocolate. And I ran away from the warehouse as fast as I could. I just kept running and running. But while I was running, I had a thought. Maybe that polar bear was Ota. Because at the time, I thought Ota was the one driving the van. If Ota brought Iris to the warehouse, then Ota must have been the one in the suit. That's what I was thinking anyway. So that's why. I'm so sorry that Mom doubted you, Ota. No, no, I understand. It's my fault for making you worry. Ota... But there's one thing I don't get. Why did you buy that chocolate when you were following me? Oh, because... You liked Odoroki Man chocolate when you were young, right, Ota? Yeah. I was like the number one or two collector of the stickers in my elementary school Fucking class. Fucking nerd! I stuck some of my duplicates all around the diner, too. You and Mayumi have strong memories of that chocolate, right? Yeah. But I guess they're not all sweet memories. They're like chocolate, you know? <laughs> right? He's, uh, his arm is still in the same position! That's not it? <laughs> oh, honey. I thought you liked the Momonoki Man chocolate. Momonoki Man. No! I told you! Hi, Momonoki! It's Odoroki Man! Odoroki! Oh. Fucking bitch ass kid. Sorry, your mom can be such a dummy sometimes. You're not just a dummy, you're a super dummy idiot! <sighs> oh, well, you're right, sweetie. I'm sorry, I'm a big dummy. I'll buy you a real Momonoki man soon. Stupid! It's not Momonoki man, it's Odoroki man! After I yelled at her, Mom immediately went to buy me another chocolate. My dad came back from buying some ingredients at the same time on, and they ran into each other. My dad really let me have it. How dare you speak to your mother like that? Because Mom is stupid. You're stupid to call your mother stupid. Your mother bought you that to make you happy. You need to think about how she feels. I didn't raise you like that. But, but... I'm when talking about fucking back, Mayumi's rack. You apologize. Do you understand? My dad told me to apologize as soon as mom came back. But the guilt... I That's besides mom, the know, point, Lo. <laughs> that guilt in my heart... 
It didn't go away. Even after I apologized to her. They're kind of hard not to, that, okay? Things got awkward with mom. But a few days later, my dad came up with an idea. Hey, Ota, how about this? You know Mother's Day is coming up. Why don't, don't we get, get her a knife? <laughs> a it would be a lovely Mother's Day present for her. A sharp-ass knife. I've never heard my dad say something like that. You know how Mom always takes care of us. <laughs> we should think of a way to pay her back. By giving her a sharp-ass knife. I'm sure my dad was trying to clear the air between all of us. So, on Mother's Day, I used my New Year's money I saved up to buy my mom that flower knife. A sharp ass flower knife! To buy the floral apron. And when mom got her gifts, she started bawling. Like, full on crying. Oh, you boys. I don't deserve all this. Thank you, thank you. You do deserve it, mom. They're like, good, because you're not getting another present for another, like, five Mother's Days. Right, Dad? That was all of our savings. Oh, um, uh, <laughs> yes, Mom is the best mom in the world. Yes, the polar bear did have the flower knife. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Say cheese! No one said cheese. No one said cheese. No one said cheese. Sorry, I lost track of time. That fake is <laughs> honestly the Odoroki man chocolate. Don't blame him. Why she bought the chocolate in the middle of tailing you? <laughs> tailing? I, like I said, don't blame him. <laughs> Mom, it could be due to her memory disorder. It is possible that her thought process was once again short circuited. Ota, I'm just going out on a limb here. Huh? Earlier I looked inside Mayumi's head. Inside her head? She was thinking of nothing but you. Her head was full of memories of you. Mayumi just wanted you to come back, Ota. So she bought that chocolate. The chocolate you loved as a kid. She thought she could get you back home with it. <laughs> That's why I believe in Mayumi's head. You're still young, though. Huh? Hanna Barbera eats her heart know. out right long. Fuck. No, you're right, Date. Fucking Magikarp! That's why my mom bought the chocolate. Magikarp! She wanted her little kid back. Oh. So what happens now, Oda? I was always so selfish. I made my mom go through such hard times. We missed a Celebi? Fuck! So from now on, I'm going to support her the way she supported me. I'll do anything. I'll deliver newspapers or be a janitor or anything. And I went I'll on break long. I can to make sure my mom can rest easy. What about your dream of being an author? Well, of course I'm not going to give up on that. But I'll set my sights a little smaller. I'll start by writing a short story. Let me read it when you're done. Of course. Uh, Oda. One last thing. Oh, I forgot to tell you something important. Something important? I heard the nurses talking before I came in here. Iris is awake. R really? His yeah, eyes. She's due to be transferred from the ICU to the general ward. Thank God. You saved her life, you know. Maybe, just maybe. Huh? Maybe what? The fuck, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. See you, kid. No! Okay, you can consider that payback long. You caught the magic carp. <laughs> Is Iris your girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. I'll introduce you next time. She's a great girl. 
Oh my, I'm looking forward to it. Is so... she going to be your financier? Oh, maybe I should clean up a bit first. Financer? Oh, fiance. Oh yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> Jeez, Mom. If Iris marries Oda, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> this will be the worst game. I don't remember that. It will be the worst game if that becomes the case. <laughs> Oh, well, Iris is dying. <laughs> Doctor, there are still many loose ends in this investigation. Yeah. 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 There's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah, looks like another all-nighter. There's a lot of loose ends. How dare he sully the name of Iris. The man is a fraud. His whole persona is a fraud. That is not- what the fuck? Yay. <laughs> ending. I guess that's the Oda, uh, ending or whatever. What the fuck? Jesus. Has there been any progress in this Jima investigation? None. Zero clue. Not exactly. We have two clues. Two? Two points of information. But they may not connect directly. But oh, without to the, the cancer, right? What are the two? A brain tumor is a bitch. First one. This may be easier to see than explain. I sent a video to the boss's PC. Could you check there, please? Wait till Panda learns that Iris gets an eye. <laughs> oh, I stood next to her and looked at the monitor. Also, so he has twins to love. Ooh. Double the fun. What's this? It's from Sunday night. Yes. After Date was beaten by Ota at Matsushita Diner. Tessa, wait. Uh, I'll get the car. You witch! There, stop it. I noticed this earlier as well. Do you see the walk on the floor beside Iris? <laughs> yeah, you get to fuck the teddy bear yeah, thing. Yeah, what about it? Look closely. You get to fight, the you get to fuck this thing, curved. whatever it is. Do you notice anything in the reflection? Iris and Mayumi. Yes. I have prepared an enlarged and processed version of the image. Boss, the next video. Hey, let's go! <laughs> I call secretary. That's fair. That's fair, Long. I call boss. You stay away no, fuck you, Long. I wanted boss. Fuck you. I wanted boss. I ate your fucking guts, Long. You said that at the exact same time, Tessa! dude. What's wrong? Did something happen? <laughs> Everything's fine. No. Okay, let's go. Ota. Hey, what's this? Iris has the kitchen knife? The video continues, but this should be enough. Iris took the knife and left the diner with Ota. But if Ota's testimony is true, the polar bear had the kitchen knife. And Iris was on Maybe the table. It was taken off of Iris when she was kidnapped. At the Femisto parking lot? Whatever, we can think about it later. You said you had two clues. Yeah, what's the other one? I have learned new information. More thorough autopsy results of Renju's body have revealed something. An object in his intestines. An object? What the A fuck? A clump of organic matter. Because it was partially digested, it took significant time to analyze. Well, what was it? Shoko Nadami's eyeball. Oh, shit. Shit! The Oda route end. That's how we end it off.
God almighty. So can we unlock this? I'm in the kinky shit, but I do have a line. Hey, we can unlock this path now. Cool. Let's go. Uh, warehouse district. Back in the warehouse district. New timeline. Have you settled down? The scene is being inspected without you. This time the body didn't disappear. This is when we found... This is when we found Iris in the forklift. I expect you to faint. Seeing that corpse must have been incredibly shocking. I did not predict you to be the fainting type. Everybody's favorite nameless. <laughs> are unpredictable. Now that you're back, let's get back to business. You are conscious, are you not? Are you at a loss for words? Date, don't let negative thoughts consume you. Thinking that Iris died because of you. <laughs> if I never took you to Oto's Car said fuck it and just read it. If you truly believe that, then your brain is completely rotten. Or perhaps when you saw the corpse, your head became filled with images of blooming yellow dandelions. What? Oh, you're talking now. <laughs> Was I correct? If you consider the situation logically, even an elementary school student would understand. Huh? Fine. Allow me to pluck some of those questions from your mind. I will ask three questions. Please answer honestly. First question. The cold storage warehouse was not in regular operation. But even so, the AC was on, and a minus 58 degree temperature was maintained. Why is that? Why does the warehouse have to be kept at freezing temperature? To preserve something? To preserve something. Yes. Let us move on to the next question. Second question. <laughs> there was something strange about the corpse. Do you remember what that was? Covered by cloth, missing its right eye. That is a unique factor. But there was something else, something more peculiar. Wanna do a drinking game? Uh, I have Trulies, so that's the only kind of drinking game I can do. But what 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 kind of drinking game? Uh, what was strange about the corpse? Uh, it's completely frozen. Iris's body was completely frozen. <laughs> Fuck you, fifty-eight. With Iris's weight. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't You're about to get fucked up. Oh, God. 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? It should have taken about 18 hours to freeze solid. But we were... Wait a moment. Before you draw your conclusion, allow me to ask my final question. Question three. Two days ago, Sunday night, you found a dead body in the cold storage warehouse. But afterward, you visited the Sagan household and discovered that Iris was in fact still alive. What? Why? You you haven't told me? Wait. We both watched Naruto? No, absolutely not. No. 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 Absolutely not, Panda. No. 
Absolutely. No. No. <laughs> by by episode like what? Seven? I'd probably be done. By episode seven, I'd probably be done. Like, and by done, I mean knocked out on my ass and not being able to like wake up the next day. <laughs> That's more likely. That's more likely is Kara's. Uh, how could Iris still be alive? Uh, because I saved Iris Insomnium. <laughs> we won't get saved, drunk, Kara. We saved her in so Somnium. Date, think logically. What occurs in dreams does not affect reality. And parallel worlds? That is even less possible. So if that's the case... You mean... You mean... You've got it. Remember what we talked about, Kara? It's always when you start winning and then people join that you start losing then. I bolted into the warehouse and I was shot out of a gun. I don't get to I don't give a fuck. I don't believe it. The stomach is swollen slightly. She appears to have been pregnant. What? How? Do not worry. The uterus does not contain a fetus. You mean after she was killed? No. The fetus was not present in her body when she was killed. She must have been killed after giving birth. The distended stomach does not immediately shrink after birth. The expanded uterus takes some time to return to its normal size. Okay. This evidence makes one thing perfectly obvious. This corpse isn't Iris. It's someone else. Which means? Iris is still alive. Not necessarily. She could be alive. We haven't confirmed that yet. <sighs> Multiple stab wounds with a single edged, sharp object to the victim's back. Just like in So Somnium. The size and shape of the marks, the weapon was most likely a kitchen knife. This matches what you said on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So this is the body I saw then. Is there an estimated time of death? Impossible to determine. This body has been completely frozen for at least 10 years. 10 years? 10 years? She was killed more than 10 years ago? Exactly. Her identity is unknown. Her killer is also unknown. But there is one likely suspect. Who? Let's consider the clues. Okay. The scene, Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Sunday night. We saw so here. If I'm doing Trulies, I could do at least like. About so I don't know. I don't know how many I could do, but I could do like at least like three cans before so I'm good. But it wasn't Iris. It was this woman? That is highly likely. What we saw was So's memory from more than ten years ago. I believe that is the case. Renju and so? But we still do not know where Renju is. That means that we need to talk to. So Sejima. <laughs> Every single time we try to talk to So Sejima, it never goes well. I don't know why these people cannot learn throughout the timelines and every time we go to this man's house, it is never, and I mean never, ever going to work out. Zuki and Oda kept searching for Iris. But unfortunately, they didn't turn up anything. Iris' whereabouts are still unknown. Now I'm worried about her, but... 
Not any leads, we'd just be looking for her blindly. I should focus on the investigation for now. It will eventually lead me to Iris. I'm sure of it. That in mind, headed to So's mansion. Hello, I shit eater! Never to show your face here again. <sighs> I didn't come here for Shoko today. I didn't come here for Iris either. Instead, I'm here for a girl who looks like Iris. Did you kill her? Date, look. Oh, I what is his body? Yeah! That you body heating up! I don't know what you're talking about. I've had enough of your shit, Congressman! You wanted to check on the body of the girl you killed. That's why you were at the cold storage warehouse two days ago. In my twenties, I get thrown out with the best of the hell, oh, yeah. <laughs> you were at an Okiura fishery warehouse for a reason. There's definitely a connection between you two, and that's not all. Number eighty-nine called your secretary, the same number eighty-nine that Renju escaped with. Now tell me, where is Renju? Suddenly. A gang of bodyguards stormed out of the mansion, and in an instance they surrounded me. We'd like to ask you to please leave. <laughs> Damn it, so! There's nothing we can do. We did arrive without a warrant. We were technically trespassing. If he had called the police, we would be in a predicament. We would have been detained immediately. For my 21st birthday, car, I did nothing but Jameson and Pickle shots. Like, then. literally 12 different times. And then pass out on the toilet of the Airbnb that me and my friends were staying at. So not a good night, to say the least. Do you intend to leave your responsibility with Mizuki and Ota? Ugh. Calm down, Date. We still have our lead. Lead? Before I explain, we need to discuss the corpse in the cold storage warehouse. Let's give her a name. Because she is frozen solid, we could call her. Oh, 100%. I'm 100% lightweight. I only drink think? wine for the most part, Alice and if Alice. I'm honest with everybody. I believe it fits nicely. Or right, whiskey, if I'm re really thinking hard about, about myself. Someone might be able to but it's usually her. wine. Who? Allow me to ask you three questions. Again with this? First question. You have seen this corpse more than twice. Three times, in fact. When was the first time? What was the first time we saw the frozen corpse? Two days ago on Sunday? That was the second time. Oh, when okay. When my body was out of commission and you went to the warehouse on your own. I'm not talking about then. I'm talking about the very first time. Don't do with medicines or alcohol or anything. That's Yeah. D combining it with shit, that's really rough. Three days ago. Saturday night when I sink to the abyss. Yes, in the Somnium world, we saw the frozen corpse of a girl. Yes. Question two. Who is the girl? Jesus, 76, dude. I feel like I would die. I honestly feel like I would die. Who was the frozen girl we saw in the sink? Oh. Now I know. That girl was probably Alice. Most likely, yes. So we have technically known Alice for three days. One last thing. The final question. In which Somnium did we see Alice? We saw it in So Somnium. I understand your logic. We did see Alice in So Somnium. 
In that sense, your answer is not incorrect. However, I mean specifically Alice's frozen corpse. Whose brain were we synced to then? <sighs> it wasn't in Suki's. Last night, you saw Alice's dead body in last night's sink. No, you didn't. The Mizuki. My roommate, Mizuki Okiura. Exactly. Oh, it's how I've never blacked out drinking three Imagine hours. I don't remember at all. Woke up throwing up in a toilet. Jesus. You wait, you downed 76 shots in the course of three hours? Or am I reading that wrong? Mizuki has seen Alice before. There is no other explanation. Aiba, where is Mizuki now? Where we went with Iris yesterday. The Kume Shrine. The Shrine? Why would she be there? Unknown. She is supposed to be looking for Iris. Okay, let's go. Let's go!